What's in our plastic bag? <laughs> 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 no, not the hallway. Your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hey guys, before we start our video, we want to let you know that our Bali brand spring collection just launched. It is live over on BaliBrand.com. We will have the link for that in the description below. And right now, we're going to show you what's in our plastic bag. <laughs> I have a suitcase. <laughs> we are going to go on a Disney cruise with our kids and we've both been on cruises so we kind of know like how to go. We just kind of want to give tips, maybe what to, what not to pack and just basically what's in our cruise bags. Yes. Yeah. You can go first. Okay. Please tell me that your kids' jammies don't have holes in the feet, holes in the knees, but it's still too cold outside to wear like spring jammies. So literally my kids didn't have any pajamas to take with us. So I wanted to get them some new jammies mm -hmm. and tell me these are not that cute. Those are so cute. I know. These are um, Hannah Anderson. They are a little pricey. Like I don't like paying this much for pajamas, but I also really like the prints. These. I really mm -hmm. like the prints. The and fabric is thick. Yeah, the fabric is a little oh, oh, how cute is that? Is that for Lincoln? For Lincoln. So I am bringing three outfits for my kids. We're gonna be gone six days, three days at the park, three days on the boat, and then we'll come home. I'm only bringing three outfits because when I've gone with the kids this is good for before, me to know. I always overpack. Mm -hmm. um, I always end up going into the gift shop because when you go to Disneyland, if you go on the Disney cruise, I like going into the gift shop and getting them a sweater. And so I brought only three outfits so I can go and buy them one. And then on the cruise, um, you can have your items washed. And so on, um, this, this is such good information for so me. So on like the second day on the cruise, I'm going to take all the clothes that they've been wearing, put it in a bag, have it be washed. Um, that way I don't have to pack as much for the kids. And I just know I'm going to end up buying a few things while I'm gone. And then I end up coming home with so much more. It's hard to do that though. No, this is actually oh, really it's good. hard because you want to just pack it all. But, mm hmm we're going somewhere warm. They're gonna yeah. wanna buy a fun little Mickey Mouse sweater. Yeah. So I'm gonna just like be contain careful. yourself. <laughs> so and I know that was one of the things I was gonna say is when you're on a cruise, you literally roam in your swimsuit the whole All time. Day. So what you actually need is a swimsuit and a swim cover. That's all you really need. So don't overpack. A pair of shorts. Yeah. Um, I'm bringing our swimsuit cover um, that we created last year. Um, from Bali brand. I'm gonna wear this a lot, which on the website, I think we only have the extra extra large, which fits 3XL, like roomy 3XL. I bet you could get away with a 4X and then also down to like an extra large if you want it a little mm -hmm. more baggy. So the size range is huge on them, but we do only have the largest size left. Because I have the small size, but it can fit up probably Me. to a, yeah. a large. Like up to a large, yeah. Like it widens out. So I like that. I bought a pair. When was the last time I bought short shorts? Never. <laughs> probably when I was in high school. I don't wear short shorts, but they're cute as heck. Um, I bought a pair of short shorts because if I'm not wearing my swimsuit cover and I'm just wearing a swimsuit, I can wear my swimsuit top with the shorts. This is one of my swimming suits. I love the color. Um, it's a tankini with high-waisted bottoms. I love high-waisted bottoms. Um, I like high-waisted bottoms. I've never really liked bikinis. I've never really felt no. that comfortable in them or even a attractive in them. Everyone's so different. I really like tankinis a lot. Um, and high-waisted bottoms. So these are some black high-waisted bottoms and then I have two tops to wear with it. Um, I brought two swimming suits for each kid and I brought three swimming suits for me. Um, and then this is a top for the black high-waisted bottoms. Um, so cute. These suits are from Albion. Liz that owns it, her and her husband, he is a graphic designer and he designs all their prints and they work together in in house, so I I love them. It's been fun getting to know them, and their swimming suits are amazing. Yeah, they're super high quality. Um, my ah! these are my shorts. You guys will have to check out our Instagram pictures because I'm just dying. just holding these up, they don't look that cute, but they really are. They have a paper bag waist on top, um, and they're very high waisted and they're and, long, and they're a little longer. They're not as short as yours. They're probably midi is what they're mm -hmm. I think they're called, um, because that's just. I feel most comfortable in and I I think I that's know. attractive like it is like these are fun but 
No, they're I, health protected I, yes, in their way. Yes, they are, but I, I love this. Mm -hmm. All feel more, most comfortable in these, and what I plan on wearing the whole time is my swimsuit with either a flowy cover or a t-shirt and shorts. Perfect. So, that's like ah. literally what I'm wearing. Oh, and so each evening, so I like that you said you were bringing one outfit for each kid, you really only need something to wear to dinner because you can't go to dinner in, in your, your swimsuit and swimwear. On um, the cruise, they won't let you into the fancy dinner. Yeah, so some people dress super fancy. I don't think, um, for me, it's not as fun to be super fancy, which is weird because I love getting like all dressed up. But like when I'm on vacation and my hair is just air dried, I don't have a lot of makeup on, I just like wearing something more casual. I'm going to be bringing this dress because you can dress it up or dress it down. Oh, literally. literally she has it in her bag too. So I brought two out, outfit outfits to wear to dinner. And you know, my, my Bali dress, and I'm gonna wear some cute um, pink heels with that and some pink lipstick. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably bring our floral wrap dress. Oh, yeah. Cause fun. I feel like it's like super tropical and so that'll be fun to wear yeah. too. Yeah, we're gonna have to tell each other. What days we're wearing them. <laughs> and wear them opposite. That's okay. the perfect idea. So fun, so fun. This is a swim cover and I know it's not like bright and floral, but that's just not me. Like I'm not bright. Well, I mean, it just depends. I think this is gonna be really cute with a pair of black sunglasses, black sandals, and my hair up in a top knot. How sweet is that? And it was super cheap. We will make sure that we have all of the links for our items in the description below for you guys, but really That's fun. amazing. Yeah. Over my whole life, I've been picky with shoes. My feet hurt a lot as a kid, and so my mom um, would always buy me one pair of shoes. They were really nice, like with arches, and I would just wear the heck out of them, and then the next year I'd get another pair of like sandals and I'd wear the heck out of them. I bought a pair of flip-flops last year, and that was the first time I have bought a sandal and I got rid of it that season. Cause usually when I buy it, I have it for several years. I couldn't handle the foot flops. So I bought these, I've had this, I bought this brand before from Nordstrom, Sam Edmund. Mm. Um, and I feel like they're really nice. And these are sandals. And this is usually like, this is like an older looking style to me. Yeah. But I really like it. It's and I, cute. I feel like it looks mature. I feel like, and it's comfortable too. And this will be great walking around the boat, not in just like mm -hmm. thin, thin flip flops. Plastic. At least this will, yeah. There's like a little substance to the sole. Yes. So I, like I, that. I got some sandals for the trip. Um, I have extremely sensitive skin, which I say like in every single video that I've ever done. You do. Um, but even sunblock, it'll make my rosacea just like fire up or it just wears off of my body. So I've been uber picky about my sunblock. Um, I know this, I'm dying looking at this. This is what we used when we were in Hawaii. This is what we used when we went to the Bahamas and I never had a problem with it. I never got burned with it. When I didn't wear this kind, I would get burned. It would wash off my and face. And the packaging's so cute. I love this stuff so, Where did you buy it? so much. Um, a lot of, sometimes I have a hard time finding it in stores, so I like to buy it off like Amazon or Walmart. So I'll put a link for that. That's amazing. Going on a plane, you have to have travel size stuff. Ooh, am I gonna be able to take this? <gasps> no. Every time that happens to me, I wonder if they have a travel size or I have to buy it when I'm there. That's usually what happens. And if in they the don't shop. have the kind that I need, I'm gonna have to buy the kind and squeeze it into a bag because I, I have to have check that a bag. I don't know. You're not gonna check a bag for your whole family? I just figured we'd each have one carry-on. Oh, that's smart. <gasps> I figured we'd each have one carry-on because I'm terrified that they're gonna lose it or I won't have it. And then if I get on my cruise and I don't have what I want, I'll It's be not fun checking stuff. I might just do that too. Have each kid have their own book bag. Yeah, totally. And me have my own bag and yep. Jared. Ah, it's that's hard to do. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So I like getting travel size stuff and I don't plan on what, this is, this is my plan for my hair. I'm gonna wash my hair right before we go so it'll be good for the three days at the park and then <laughs> I will just be in the water the whole time or like I'll wash it once when we're on the boat. That's and amazing. And you need dry shampoo and just like hairspray and these are my favorite. Bed the bed head masterpiece. Yep. So here's a little travel size. When okay. I went on um, our cruise with our kids, I brought like a curling iron, a flat iron, and a blow dryer. You don't need it. I truly feel like this is the trip that you don't bring that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I. It's hard to do. It's hard to not 
do it. Yeah. They have a blow dryer. Do I like their blow dryers? Absolutely not. I feel like my hair like fries and dries out faster. Yeah. But they have that there. Most of the time you let your hair just air dry. And when you're in a humid climate and you're fighting and you like straighten your hair and stuff, it's gonna look terrible. It does. You just need to let your hair be what it's gonna be in humid climates. Whether it's natural, straight, like whatever your natural hair is, you will look your best if you just allow your hair to be its natural state. And I figure the worst case scenario, which is not even bad, <laughs> I will just wear a really pretty bold lip and so I like will hair. grab one ponytail and I will just slick my hair. Just so it's nice, slick against my head and a bright bold lip. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. <gasps> I'm going to refrain myself. I'm not going to bring a blow dryer. Good. And honestly, neither am I. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and with makeup, you won't be using a lot of makeup because one, it's humid. Two, it's You're with your kids. Yeah, like, we're you not getting ready. No, and you just want to get in the pool. You get in and out of the pool. You get in and out of the hot tubs. You're like, it's just you just don't need it. And you have sunglasses on the whole time, mm -hmm. so you don't need it. Like I don't plan on doing a lot of makeup, and I don't plan on doing much with my hair. It's gonna be fun. I know. Cruises are supposed to be relaxing. You're supposed to go relax. Like you don't need to worry about that stuff. You just enjoy yourself because nobody else on the ship is no. getting like. They do for dinner, which is yeah. fun. So okay, what else do we've got? I've never felt as feminine or beautiful. I'm like looking. I know. J. Crew. <laughs> it's from J. Crew. Look it's at the very sleeves, beautiful. and the back comes down really low, which I think is just really pretty. Anyway, and it kind of has this like ruffly feel to it, like it isn't smooth. This is a very nice swimsuit. Anyway, I love so that. there's that. That's and so the, pretty. For me, the older I get, the more I have to spend on a swimsuit because the cheaper ones just don't hold, hold my body the way I like them to. There really is like a different feel. If you, if you are not comfortable in a swimsuit, I suggest you find one that is nice quality so that it holds you in and then you tell yourself that you're gonna be happy in that swimsuit and you just wear it because nobody looks perfect. Nobody looks no. good on the, like, good on the cruises. You just go and you just and be. No one cares. That was the best decision I ever made. I was terrified to go to Hawaii, and I truly just made a decision that I was just gonna go and have fun because I was already not happy thinking about myself sitting on the beach or like walking around with my kids. It was truly the best decision I ever made was Makes to just not hearing that. I know, but I did. I went and that was, that truly was a turning point in my life when I just decided it doesn't matter what I look like in my flipping swimsuit and I wore it and I just enjoyed myself. All and your kids I was happy. want yes. is to play with mom. That's yeah. all they want. Yep. So we're going to go so and we're going to play with our kids. Yeah, I cannot wait to just play with the kids. Um, I have a few trips planned this year. This one, our little baby Tommy is not coming. That was kind of a hard decision to make. So I don't need to bring a big old bag for diapers and wipes and formula and anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring my bag and this fits my vlogging camera, phone, purse, and some money. And that's and all that. you need and that's for all walking I need. around. That's all I need. So we did show that in the spring haul video. If you haven't seen our spring accessories haul, that one's really fun. Yeah. So I'm going to bring this and this is going to be the purse that I have for six days. I have two more things <laughs> I'm going to show. This is from the beauty, like Sally's beauty supply or Walmart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Sally Hansen. It's an airbrush illuminator. I don't know if I'm going to do a spray tan before I go. Are you? Absolutely. <laughs> I probably will then. We'll see. But this, I use it on my legs on Sunday because my legs are like bare white. And it just has a nice glow. You roll it on your legs or your arms or your collarbone. And it just gives a nice glow. It doesn't make your legs tan. It doesn't like... Really? It, it washes off. But it just looks really good. And I've used it. And I, I like that. Did you notice if it rubbed off onto your clothes? No. It did. The sparkle goes crazy on your hands, but you wash your hands when you're done. But like once it's dry, it's dry. And the last thing I got, I bought this several years ago. And um, it's Vera Bradley is the brand. A lot of people love this, especially for like beach bags. Yeah. I did bring this. I'm, I, I don't know if I remember if I'm going to really use it. I'm just trying to think of when I was there last time on the beach. Um, but I'm just going to bring anyway because it's always nice to have a beach bag. And then in here I have um, two little sun hats for my kids. The sun really, especially when we come from winter, we forget how hot it is. Um, so I have little hats for my kids. Oh my god. Mother. 
I, the sun is brutal. <laughs> You're so the damn sun. cute. What? Are you serious? I was looking at yours and I was like, oh, yours are cute. This These so are cute. cute. <laughs> These are from Swim Zip. Mine are. Um, so cute. Anyway, they, you have to cover your baby's you heads. You have to. So I have two little hats for my kids. Jackson will die if I do not bring him goggles. Like, he will be so mad. So I have goggles for him. If your kids have them, then my kids are going to How he doesn't care. Goggles. And then I have, these are just sunglasses that we've had over the years that luckily have not broke or scratched. Like we've got at gas stations, this is Spider-Man, cause it gets so bright. So I have that. And then I do have some sunscreen. Um, the Neutrogena, this, I like this on my face specifically. So I've got this for the kids and obviously chapstick for my yeah. baby's lips. Lotion, because when you're out in the sun and in the salt water, Dries. your skin gets super dry. So I need lotion in my I bag. Am. So excited to go. So am I. Ah, our kids. They, our kids need it almost just as much as we do. Mm -hmm. It's been a long winter. We're ready to get out in the sun. We've worked like crazy this year, Work getting hard, ready for a launch. Play hard. We're just excited to get out of the house and get in the sun. That is our haul, um, and a few little tips for when you go, especially on a cruise. So, eek. thank you guys so much for watching. We'll have everything listed in the description if you want to check any of the items out, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Bye.